Hello everybody, my name is Khaled Siddiqui and in this video I'm going to introduce BJI's new vehicle detector, motion sensing vehicle detector uh, unit for drive through intercoms. So this unit will detect vehicles when vehicles come in the drive through lane and it will activate uh, the beeper in the earpiece of the employee inside the restaurant to inform them that there's a customer in the drive through lane. Now, normally, um, before this came uh, into existence, uh, there was uh, a concrete, under the concrete loop, uh, uh, which would cost thousands of dollars uh, to cut. You have to hire a contractor, they have to come cut the drive through lane and make circles under the concrete and run a wire loop, and that would be your vehicle detection. This, however, is motion sensor. Now, this is only $50. The loop will run you like nearly $1,000 to $2,000 just to cut the concrete by a contractor and then refill it and all that. So why would anyone spend that kind of money if this is available? Because there are a lot of disadvantages with this and a lot of advantages with the loop. The only advantage with this guy is the ease of installation. It's so easy to mount. And it's just three wires you run and you're good to go. Uh, and the price, that's the advantage. The disadvantage of this is that this could be activated by a bird. It could be activated by an animal. It could be activated by a walking pedestrian from the drive through lane. Uh, whereas the loop detector will not have too many false detections. One. The second thing with this is that uh, uh, normally uh, when a vehicle comes to a drive through lane they usually speak and they will be there for some time um, but uh, that as soon as they leave the loop detection will automatically disconnect the headset with the base and will turn off the connection because the vehicle has already left. And as long as the vehicle is inside the drive through lane by the menu board and placing the order, as long as that vehicle is there, the headset will not disconnect. So here's the, the problem with this. This one will not automatically uh, disconnect the connection once the vehicle has, has left. Uh, so the employee has to turn it off. And it has duration sensor right here. There's a little duration sensor. And that duration sensor, let me actually show you this from a closer close-up distance so you can see. And uh, this duration sensor that you see right here is will determine um, uh, how long the activation stays on. So basically when this guy is right here, and let's say a, a vehicle comes, let, let's pretend this lock is a vehicle. Let's say this is a vehicle. When a vehicle comes through the drive through lane, this duration sensor will tell it for how long to stay activated because this is a motion sensor. And once the vehicle arrived here, it's not producing any more motion. It's still, the guy has pressed the brakes, so the vehicle is not moving. So if this duration is very short, as soon as the guy arrives and pushes the brakes, this will stop the deactivation, and when deactivation stops, the headset will get disconnected. So what you need to do is you need to set this long, a little longer. Like you need to set this in the a little above middle. So what happens is that when the vehicle comes, even though the vehicle is stopped, the duration on this is long enough to allow the guy for you know minute, two minutes, whatever you set this to speak before it leaves. And once the vehicle leaves. This will not this will not go based on vehicle's absence to turn off the headset. This will go by its own duration that you have chosen and will stay connected. The headset will stay connected with the base. So the employee has to manually turn off their headsets when the vehicle is gone. And uh, it's recommended that they shouldn't turn it off because what if uh, the following vehicle comes after that and this is hasn't reset itself yet. So you have to leave this on, leave the headset on in order to see the next vehicle. That's the reason people are spending thousands of dollars in going with the under the concrete loop option. Because this is very convenient, but this is the drawback that it will not automatically 
uh, turn off the connection once the vehicle leaves and it will not keep the connection running for the duration of the vehicle to stay. Uh, that's why, uh, because it's a motion sensor. Now, if you mount this in a place where the, where the driver's mouth is, uh, I mean the vehicle driver or the customer's uh, head or mouth is, so the motion with their hands and head might keep it activated, but people don't, when they talk, they don't actually make too much movement. So uh, that is not a good idea. The good thing is to keep the, uh, the duration longer so that when the vehicle comes and even when the vehicle is while the guy is placing his order and he's not done yet it shouldn't turn off the headset if it does turn off the headset while the guy's speaking still speaking the employee has to reconnect with with the buttons a1 or a2 of their headset in order to maintain the connection so that's the reason uh, why uh, people go with a concrete loop under the concrete loop option versus this because this is, yeah, yeah, it saves you, it's, uh, what, 20 times cheaper? 2000 versus $50? Uh, I mean, or 1000 versus 50 bucks. But it is, uh, this is a disadvantage or inconvenience. Anyways, enough said about this. Now let's get started and tell you how easy it is to install this. All right? Okay, so right here, I, I have a HME base station. Let me remove these. So I have an HME EOS HD high definition base station, which is the one of the greatest cream of the crop. So I'm gonna open this. And this is so simple that it's funny. It's just three wires. And this is J6, this is, these, uh, these blocks, uh, connectors have names. Uh, this is, for example, let's see, this one is J1, this is J6, and, and so on. This is, I believe, J7, J9, like that. So on the J6 connector, and, and it's going to be J14 if you have a dual lane, because this is a single lane, it's only J6. Uh, on the J6 connector, uh, this goes between pin 3, 4, and 5. Let me zoom in. Let's zoom in. There you go. So this will go between pins 3, 4, and 5, respectively. Now, the pin 3, 4, and 5 goes, let me plug this in to show you, the pin 3, 4, and 5 goes exactly to pin 3, pin 4, and pin 5 just as the diagram shows. This one is not connected, the second from here. See that? Again, so if you put these side by side, it's very easy to see. Very easy to see. This is pin three, pin four, and pin five. Now, pin three is shared with a speaker. You need to know that. This is the, uh, I'm sorry, with a microphone. You need to know that. This is mic positive, mic negative, microphone ground. So this green wire is ground wire and it's shared with a microphone. And on, on the right there are speaker, speaker connections. Okay? So let me show you how this works. And then you can, um, first you learn how to install it. It's simple, very simple installation. And now I'm going to show you how it works. Okay, so here is a real life scenario. I put a cover over the motion sensor so it doesn't get activated by itself. Right here, you see the car icon is off. That means there's, there are no cars. There is no motion in front of this. As soon as I remove this, because I, my hand will have motion, the car icon will turn on, and then you will hear a, the, the employee will hear a beep on the headset. That's why I have a microphone here, so you can hear what kind of a beep the employee will hear. It will be exactly the same beep as if there is a, a vehicle through the normal vehicle detector uh, sensor. Okay, so let's remove this. Okay, so you heard the beep. The beep might be very loud because the mic is right there, right by the headset. And look, the vehicle icon is on, right? So now, you can tell the customer to keep moving, keep moving your hands so this doesn't cut you off. 
the customer will talk normal some people don't even move their hands as they speak so that's why you have to set the sensor so this remains activated for a long time if you leave this in in number one which is the least duration if you leave it at number one when the vehicle is gone or, or even if the vehicle is still there but the guy is not making motion the car is not moving so there is no motion watch how quickly the vehicle detection will turn off which will essentially turn off the headset watch the headset is on right now I, I turned it on so watch when this turns off the hats will turn the headset will turn off as well which is about 30 seconds and and people don't there you go less than 30 seconds it turned off it turned off the headset that's why the motion sensor needs to be longer in order for this to be a successful you know drive through experience other than that now as soon as i remove this will turn on but this will not you have to turn it on see watch so this activated the vehicle turned on but this the employee has to press which is the same with the normal vehicle detection even with a loop the employee has to press to answer uh, but the difference is that as long as the vehicle is on the lane this will remain on this will remain connected as soon as the vehicle leaves this will be automatically disconnected in this case with the motion you have to manually turn it off even if the vehicle is gone you have to manually turn off your headset or don't even turn it off because maybe there's another car coming after it and that second car that's coming after that may not trigger this because this is still in activation <coughs> this is still in activation mode from the previous vehicle it hasn't turned off itself yet it hasn't reset itself so that's the thing that you need to be uh, uh, you know careful about uh, installing this now as far as the loop the vehicle loop detection let me turn this off and show you something the vehicle loop detection which is the normal type of a uh, connection is this setup right here so this setup is is the loop uh, detection and these two pins right here goes under the concrete with a coil under the concrete and comes back so it goes from here to the coil comes back and that will keep the connection running as long as the vehicle is present so that's what uh, this is so I hope you learned how to install this motion sensor and uh, you know for convenience and the price it's great you know it's a very quick installation boom boom it's ready to go you will hear the beep in your earpiece when a vehicle comes and if you want professional installation then you have to spend thousands of dollars by cutting the concrete and what have you okay thank you for watching please make sure to like and subscribe